Well, hello, general public. Hello, the general public. It's me, RMB, the notorious RMB. I'm here in my hotel room in swanky, can you see it? Out the window, Las Vegas. I'm just testing this to see if it works. Is it worth streaming from my old computer? I don't know. There's nobody here. I have no idea if anyone is going to be here. It looks kind of good. I'm a little sweaty. I'm waiting for someone to show up if anyone does show up. If they don't, oh, hey. Keaton Toothman is here. Dude, what is up, son? I'm here uh, in Las Vegas, and this is a test on my old laptop just to see if it works. I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, idiot heads, you, I hear. Yeah, well, wow, there's lots of people here. So the question I have for you, I'm looking a little slick because I haven't washed my face. I've, I'm now Vegas, baby. I'm, I'm swinger style. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm pulling a Fredo, two cocktail waitresses at a time. No, I'm just kidding. My girlfriend wouldn't appreciate that. But what I really want to know is, can you hear me and how does this look? Because I'm streaming live and I have no idea what it's going to look like. So, oh, you can hear me and see me. Looks good. Sounds good, brother. I hear sounds good. Audio quality is pretty awesome. Well, that's good. So the question I have for you guys and girls and gentle people and non-binary individuals or whoever you are, should I stream like this from here in Vegas for the next four days from CinemaCon? Is this acceptable to you if I don't have a Yeti microphone? That, that's the question. Is it worth doing? I mean, I got light on me. I've got some uh, LED light. I can uh, soften it up. But what do you think? Looks and sounds fine. Wow, looks good, sounds good. Hey, Rob, is that where Caesar lived? Absolutely. You know what? Rome was actually, the capital was right here. People think it's in Italy. That's not true. It's right here in the middle of the Nevada desert, swear to God. Okay, so uh, uh, King of Vegas, do it. I wouldn't say I'm the King of Vegas, but it works. This is good. I love the fact that 17 people are on just because I jumped on in Vegas. I am in Vegas. Check it out, dudes. You know what's great? I don't even have to be plugged in. Look at this, because I'm Wi-Fi bound. Look at this. You can look out the window, man. Check it out, dudes. There's the Vegas Strip. Have you guys been here? Look at that. That's the Mirage, Treasure Island. Look at that. It's crazy. There you go. So, all right. Well, that's good to know. So I am now, uh, I'm live in Vegas from CinemaCon. Look, check this out. Here's my key card. Spider-Man, far from home. I'm kind of far from home. I'm in the Nevada desert, which is like 500 miles, 400 miles, 300 miles. I don't even know, from Vegas. So, wow, it's amazing. Vegas, baby, Vegas. There's a lot of you here. What are you guys doing here? It's Sunday night. Don't you work? Isn't there school? Anyway, uh, I am going to jump off this chat. Now you've, you've told me what I needed to know, that I can make this work. It's good to have you here. It's good to have all imagination. Comments. Wow, Keaton Toothman rocks up the super chat. Thank you, sir. Keaton, I love it. Oh, my God, the key card, right? Let's show that again. Look at this key card. This is, this is some stuff, right? It's amazing. It's incredible, the technology that exists. I've even got a light on me. i got some LED lights. Um, it's Monday night here, says Blake St. Clair. Christopher Sanchez, I'm banned from half the strip. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Long story from another night. <laughs> I want to know who banned you and why. My work starts at 2 p.m., says Raptor King. Brandon says self-employed. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Idiot has says, cheers, man. Have fun out there. AJ Lancaster, my weekends are Monday and Tuesday, LOL. Wow. Daniel uh, Escondura says, go find John at the poker table. <laughs> he's in a different, he's in John Campia, I kid you not, is in the Octavius Tower. I'm like, yeah, but I've got the Spider-Man key card. Wow, Brandon Valenzuela is here with a super chat. You're the man, Rob. No, Brandon, you, sir. You, Mr. Valenzuela, is are the man. Uh, this is my job. Uh, that, is that an Animal House line? I'm not joking. This is my job. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, the idiot heads up late drawing comics. Wow, that's great. Uh, Daniel Escondora says, how is your flight? Short. 45 minutes. Then I got stopped by the cops at the gate. It was rough. Anthony Diaz, you're the ultimate sweaty. Literally, my I'm sweating. Uh, but yes, insomnia hours. Blake, Blake Sinclair says, I wish I could go too. Never been to an American con. Well, 
to be honest, this isn't a uh, this isn't a um, WonderCon's over. CinemaCon used to be called Show West, and it's uh, it's for exhibitors. It's basically it's basically for people that own movie theaters across the world. It's it's not exactly a star studded event, but uh, fun. I've always wanted to go. I've never been here. Tomorrow is International Day, whatever that means. Um, Blake St. Clair says, I wish I could go too. Never been to an American con. It's my, on my list. I said that. Well, Keaton Toothman says, Endgame tickets are on sale tomorrow. Oh my. Yes, sir. And let me tell you, they're going on sale like early. I like, I got to get up at 5 a.m. so I can get my uh, uh, arc light tickets to see. Or, or I might go Chinese because it's all shot in IMAX. I don't know, man. These, these are something that I'm going to have to deal with when I eat because I haven't eaten. I'm starving. And to be honest, I haven't been drinking it all at home, and I'm just craving for a whiskey. Honest to God, I really need some. Jameson, don't tell my girlfriend Elizabeth because she'll get angry. Um, Midnight's Edge After Dark is here. Hey, hey, wow. This is. I, I feel like since I'm on Wi-Fi, I could take this computer all around the casino. That's frowned upon, by the way. They don't let you do that. But if uh, maybe I could surreptitiously like sneak it in. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Halo Super Warrior Prime is here. Hello, Rob. Just thought I'd drop in for a bit. You're new here, Halo Super Warrior Prime. I haven't seen you before. This is amazing. Uh, Don, or Dom, I can't see with my, my glasses. Dom Velada says, uh, Rob goes all the way to Vegas only re to report back to YouTube to address the people. Verisimilis Optimus Maximus. That might be the greatest thing anyone's ever said. Listen, I just turned it on. That doesn't mean I'm not going to go down and, uh, you know, who knows? Cocktails. Who knows what's going to happen here? Um, but that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Uh, you know what? Please, somebody, somebody uh, make me that meme. I won't wait. What did you say? What was it? Uh, that is the greatest thing ever. Uh, Verisimilis Optimus Maximus. Get on that. I want to see fan art. That's my new name. Verisimilis Optimus Maximus. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife. I will have my vengeance in this in this life or the next, but it's going to look really realistic. No CG. Uh, Keaton Toothman says, one whiskey on me, brother. Tell them you lost your key card and send me the extra. <laughs> I'll do that. I love that. Well, all right, gents, ladies, gents, anybody who's here, all 47 of you, I'm, I'm going to jump off the phone. Uh, jump off the phone, jump off the phone. Like I'm on my phone. I'm going to jump off the, this communication. I just want to see if it would work. Is it worth streaming from here? I'm totally going to stream from here tomorrow. I'm going to tell you all about CinemaCon and, uh, you guys are the best. Thank you for jumping in. All of you. Thank you for the super chats. Wait, hang on. Brandon Valenzuela sends me another super chat. Check out the Coke factory. They have a Coke sampler. It's every Coke and float in the world. Dude, I stopped doing Coke in the 80s. Oh, wait. You're talking about something different. I know. Uh, you know what? There's a reason why Crockett's alter ego was Sonny Burnett. Just saying. I mean, there's that whole season four ending and season five, that three-part episode where he really believes. It's a Miami Vice thing. Never mind. I'm just kidding. I will. I love Coca-Cola. And you know, they have vanilla and orange Coke now. I'm sure it's awesome or not. Uh, I don't know. Does anyone, have you, have you had that? I've seen billboards for it. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> Bowman Stewart said, in the 80s, Brandon's like, woo, I don't know what that means. All right, so here I am. I'm going to go now. It's 52 of you. There's more people here. Look, I just was doing this. It's It's midnight here in Vegas. And I'm, as someone pointed out, I'm sitting in my hotel room talking to all of you, which is wrong. It's it, uh, Corky94, thank you for the super chat. They've got double tails, double tables and canar. Canar is, of course, the great Cardassian drink that, that Cork has at his bar. But by the way, they don't have double tables here. That was at the Hilton, and they took out the Star Trek experience. They don't have it anymore, which I worked on. That's across the, the way. It's not here anymore. Uh, they do have something like Dabo Tales tables, but not with Dabo Tales. That's like the Chase Masterson story, which she was at WonderCon this weekend, so that was good to see her. Uh, Idiot Head says, go forth, Rob. 
live long and party in Vegas. Sanity is radical, says, give me some blood wine. Ryan Colby says, I missed the Star Trek experience. Dale M says, what's up, Rob? Dale, you, my friend, we got to talk. Uh, Blake St. Clair says, is it Vegas that never sleeps too, or is that just New York? Well, down the street, there's New York, New York, and there's Paris. So you can go to two of the great cities in the world just down the street. Uh, uh, Roman Stewart sends me a super chat. Tip is on me. Go have a drink, my friend. I appreciate that, Roman. I'm not supposed to be drinking, just so you know. But anyway, uh, uh, Daniel Escondura says, Rob, stop being a geek and go full Vegas, laugh out loud. Dude, I only could go full Vegas when I was like in my 30s. I do it now, I, I get jailed. It's not so good. Not good. Uh, anyway, OG Deadbolt says, I miss Star Trek The Experience. Everybody apparently does. Sunil S says, is the John Campia show going to be from a hotel? The John Campia show is wherever we want it to be from. You just never know. But John got me this room, just so you know. Campia hooked it up. He, he's got the Vegas connection. Uh, well, anyway, guys, girls, gentle beings, all of you people, I'm going to go now. This was just to see. Thank you for all the support. You guys are supporting me even when I'm on vacation. I'm not on vacation. I'm, at, I'm here for CinemaCon. CinemaCon, you can see right here, uh, far from home. All the studios are here. Tomorrow's International Day. I will report back and tell you what's happening. Um, uh, Sunil S. says, good night. The John Campy show, he's got a great setup. It will be from a hotel. It will be. We are at Caesar's Palace. Evil Knievel once jumped the fountain here. It's a different fountain now. It's long. You, people are like, who's Evil Knievel? Anyway, you should look it up. Google Evil Knievel. You can Google his jump in Caesar's Palace. It's amazing. Or outside of Caesar's Palace. I saw it when I was a kid. Uh, Keaton Tupin says, thanks, bro. We love you. Well, I thank you. I can't say I love you. I've never met you. But one day, we're going we're gonna, to we'll break bread together. I'm sure I do love you. I, I love your support. I appreciate that. Uh, Daniel Escondura says, John, an Italian guy with a Vegas connection. Godfather feelings. Look, there's a reason why I hooked up with a guy like John Campia. He's got connections everywhere. His family goes all the way back to Sicily. Not like in that true romance way. Not like in that conversation, you know, they had in that movie. But you know what I mean. Um, Christopher Sanchez says, go do some blackjack, win big. Well, my dad taught me how to play. I never I never go big. I, I go smart. You got to play, play smart blackjack at a good table. So anyway, I'm going to say goodnight to all of you. Thank you for uh, being here. It was amazing. 57 of you. Crazy. I'm going to be here all week. And we'll talk soon. Um, hello, Super Warrior Prime. A Halo Super Warrior Prime, who's new here, says, see ya. See you guys. I'm sorry it's not more exciting. One more glance out the window. <clears throat> Look at that. There's the Mirage, the Palazzo, the win. You know what's really funny? When I first came to Las Vegas, not the first time, but there's this guy named Steve Wynn who has the win. He also has Treasure Island. There's a video that plays in the room in Treasure Island, or at least it did 20 years ago. And every time you would go in, it was a half an hour video about this kid who needed a babysitter. And like real pirates were his babysitter. And this kid meets Steve Wynn, the impresario of Vegas. And the kid just knows who he is. He goes, aren't you Steve Wynn? And we used to bet like a kid who's eight would know who Steve Wynn is, but that's fine. We used to bet when we'd walk in the room what line of dialogue was happening on this video that played in the room. It just played endlessly. It was like this 30-minute video. Do they still play that? I wonder. I want to go check in and just see if they still play that video. And if they don't, can you buy that video? Because I would put it up on this YouTube channel just so you can watch it and we can bet like we used to in the day. You people are all going, what are you talking about? I know. It's a long story. But... Uh, good night, sir. Dale M says, peace out, Rob. Raptor King says, I'll be here all week. Saying it literally, though. Uh, <laughs> XX, your disease asked for Gilbert is not here. I'm, I'm sorry. Gilbert's really angry. He was looking very depressed when I left. So anyway, uh, I'm going. I, uh, oh, no, no. Co-host Gilbert and Skippy. Gilbert and Skippy are at home. What? Like, I can't bring Gilbert and Skippy to Vegas. Gilbert would be like betting. He doesn't understand. He, he would bet on red and black when he plays roulette. It's not good. He's like, Ooh, one day we're going to hit green. No, you're not. Don't bet on – no, 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 no. Gilbert wouldn't – he doesn't understand. He's, mathematics is not his strong suit. He runs fast. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, the Film Don says, hey, guys, I started uploading upcoming movie reviews on my channel. Check it out if you guys would like. 
Uh, Smolder7 says, buy from Australia. Hopefully can represent an international day at CinemaCon. Ha ha. I will check it out. I will find out. I love my brothers and sisters in Oz. Um, Don Valeda says, I'll get to work on that verisimilis optimus maximus meme. Please do. This could be the best meme ever. Uh, you know what? I was contacted today by Neil, who's building the Space Rob video game. He says, this is what he said. I'm going to put him on notice. He says, Space Rob will debut on the 100th episode of Rob's Observations, which is not that far away. It's pre-Endgame. So not only do you get Hellboy, Shazam, Game of Thrones, and Endgame, you get Space Rob. Come on, what's up? What's the best thing? Don't say Space Rob because it's not your line. Endgame's the best thing. Game of Thrones is second best. Shazam is third best. Hellboy is fourth best. Anyway, so uh, Corky94 says, you're a dude. This is a man. This is the man. Are you Corky from... From, uh, you know, what was the old show, uh, uh, Life Goes On? I have a story about Corky I've never told. I went to the Life Goes On Christmas party, and Corky almost, I, he almost, I almost got in a fight with him. It wasn't good. Anyway, uh, Sanity is Radical says, Space Rob Hype. Yes, Keaton Toothman says, can't wait for my Spider-Man key card. Well, I'll say this for you. I'll send it to you, I promise. Um, the Film Don says, also, Rob, when you come back to Cali, be sure and check out Peggy Sue's Diner, if you haven't. Well, you know, I live there. I mean, I live in Cali. I'm, I'm, I'm just good to visit. I've lived there for 30 years, so I will check it out. Um, uh, Johnny West says, is he sharing a room with John Campion? No, man. I can't share a room with John Campion. The two of us are too big for one room. And and John got me this room, so good for him. He did. I, I It's John Campion's world. I just do what he tells me. And what he tells me to do is usually pretty good. So... Uh, Roman Stewart says, laugh out loud. Corky94 says, ha, ha, ha. Voltron Prime says, hello. There's 59 of you. Guys, girls, gentle beings, non-binary people, aliens from the planet Gilbarian or whatever. Gilbar. They're from Actually, there's two planets now. There's Gilbar and uh, Tulular, which is a new planet I'd never been to before. But apparently, an envoy is coming to my house uh, in two weeks. I have nothing to do with it. But you'll see here. Uh, John probably stores, says Nihilus, probably. Uh, John's a made man. I can't speak to that. I don't know about that. I know nothing about any of that. Uh, have you seen the Thanos Endgame hot toy? Come on, dude. Really? There might be a pre-order. That Thanos hot toy doesn't come out until 2020, by the way. But that sword is awesome. And, and you know, the, the first Infinity War Thanos hot toy is not even in the States yet. It hasn't even got here. It comes here between April and June. Uh, but yes, I've seen the Thanos hot toy. I've seen, I'm not going to buy the Iron Man hot toy from Endgame. The Iron Man hot toy, the Iron Man uh, 50 armor is the best. And hot toys made it, it's, it's very controversial. It's a $400 figure, but you have to buy the accessory pack that's $250 more. I mean, come on. Uh, anyway, I got to go. You guys got to let me go. I'm going now. I apologize. I, I appreciate all of you coming in. There's 70 people here now. I I, I will come back uh, tomorrow. Or it is tomorrow, but I'll come back later tomorrow, like in 12 hours. But it's been great to have you here. This is just a test. Uh, Sanity's Radical says that Thanos Hot Toy is lit literally because the gauntlet lights up, which is great. And I think that's terrific. And I, yes, I pre-ordered that. I don't know if I'll have the money to get it. See, I make lots of pre-orders and I lose my money because I can't buy the figures when they come out. That's why I don't have the the Hulkbuster from Ultron. I lost my deposit. But it's coming out next year and I reordered it. So who knows? Uh, anyway, thank you guys. It's been great. I'm going to go. I'm starving to death. I bid you fa farewell. Remember, this is not an official Rob Observations chat. This is just a test. But I'm still going to say to you, remember. Every person you meet has a story to tell that you have yet to hear. All you have to do is listen. And there are many people in this weird casino that come from all over the world that have stories to tell that I'm not going to listen to. But they have them. Remember that. Everybody has a story to tell. I will see you guys later. Good night. It's been great to, to do this test with you. Thank you for the support. I can't believe you sent me super chats. You guys are the best. Uh, this is actually my first stream of, it's April 1st. You know what that means? I have to admit something. I'll tell you something right now.
So, you know, I've been working on this movie called Tango Shalom. Well, what's really interesting is Paramount contacted me. And Paramount, actually, there was a, an executive at our, our screening of Tango Shalom, and he really liked it. He liked it, and I did not know this, but he found, he actually found, uh, he found the Free Enterprise 2 script that I had no idea, and, and it turns out that Paramount has actually greenlit Free Enterprise 2. And we're making the film, and it's a star-studded cast, and we have a $65 million budget. Weta is doing the visual effects, which is amazing. Half the team from Avatar is, is working on the VFX, which is funny because there's not a lot of VFX in the movie, but they're going to recreate Russia. There's cities in Russia, in Italy, and Israel, and we don't have to actually go there because of the visual effects. So... It's amazing that Free Enterprise 2 is going to get made and Patrick Stewart signed on, William Shatner has signed on, Liam Neeson has signed on, Michelle Pfeiffer decided to do it and it's it's I'm just I'm blown away. I'm blown away. So we're actually it was it used to be called Free Enterprise The Wrath of Shatner. It's now called Free Enterprise William Shatner versus the World. It's amazing. It's kind of like the end game of Free Enterprise movies. So Go with that. You guys are the first people to hear that. And remember what time you heard it and what the date is. Just saying. But you guys, have a good evening. It's April 1st, and I bid you adieu.